hear me out. 10K a month is really good goal, but what your ideal goal should be is actually put yourself on the payroll, especially if you're working full time on your business. Because aside from business, you if you're renting a place, you need a proof of income, proof of employment that you're working somewhere, and this is how you can improve your income. Also, if you're buying a car, buying a house, making purchases, actually putting your money to work that you earn from your business. Again, when you're paying yourself, and when you're on W two, and when you're paying taxes, and when you are employee of your business, it is more sustainable, and you have a little bit more financial leverage. So instead of asking like, okay, I just me, like, how do I make ten k a month in my business? I would ask myself, what steps do I need to take to put myself on the payroll? And have you ever asked yourself, what would be a sustainable financial goal for your business, not just this year, but what would be your level, your profit margin, your profit level to move your business further? I talked to a lot of people this week, and a lot of people said, "Hey,、uh, how do I make ten k a month? How do I make twenty k a month? How do I make、uh, maybe twenty five thousand dollars a month?" But majority of people aiming for five to ten k a month, and I thought we really needed to talk. See, like I'm not a fan of making those videos. Like, hey, like 10k a month, they're like easy, easy map to 10k a month. Because listen, it, when it comes to entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is hard, and your map to success might look a little different, and your timeline to success might look a little different. Okay, can we agree with that? But with that, I think there is a fundamental misunderstanding. When it comes to finances in your business and how much money you should really make from your business, the first thing that is important to understand your intent, your intention for your business. Are you building a business that you are running full time, that it's your primary source of income, and you would like to, for example, exit corporate or pivot to another business from your Main business that may be not aligned with you. So, what is your intention? What is your intent with your business? And with that in mind, you might have a little bit easier time to come up with your、um, income from your、uh, business. Okay, let's break it down. Your income, the money that you earn from your business, is not really yours. So, ideally, this is what you should. Be striving for. You are making money in your business, and you are paying yourself a salary. And I understand maybe you are at the stage in your business like Eugene. I just want to have five k, my first five k from my business. I just want to make ten k a month from my business. I'm very close, but I am not at the position where I pay myself salary. And I understand. And if you are in this position. Yes, absolutely. You should be striving to make 10k a month. But hear me out. Hear me out. 10k a month is really good goal. But what your ideal goal should be is actually put yourself on the payroll, especially if you're、uh, working full time on your business. Because aside from business, you if you're renting a place. You need a proof of income, proof of employment that you're working somewhere, and this is how you can improve your income. Also, if you're buying a car, buying a house, making purchases, actually putting your money to work that you earn from your business. Again, when you're paying yourself, and when you're on W two, and when you're paying taxes, and when you are employee of your business, then.、Uh, It is more sustainable, and you have a little bit more financial leverage. So instead of asking like, "Okay, I just me, like, how do I make ten k a month in my business?" I would ask myself, "What steps do I need to take to put myself on the payroll, and how do I bring my business to that level?" This is your ultimate goal. I put together a free. 
masterclass how to 10 steps to 10k a month um, because it there is a process there is a process the, the link is in the description for this video the link is in the comments as well so check this out again it's completely free you register and also uh next week uh, i am going to do a live stream uh master classes on link and on youtube and every week i'm going to uncover a new step so it's going to be 10 live trainings as well where we're going to dive into each step directly and also i'm going to be posting those 10 steps on that page as well so you can catch the replay in the recordings all in the same place so check the link out because listen there is a there there are certain steps there are certain uh, levels that you have to accomplish to get to your 10k a month so what are the essential steps to your 10k a month or even 20k a month in your business look i highly recommend you to check out that free training because i really i uh, gave a really deep dive and it's about a 25 minute training on each step uh, when it's important what you're going to accomplish at each step in um, those 10 steps but if i if i were to give you a quick tip or an advice what you can do right now is i would focus on your otp triangle so otp triangle stands for offer traffic and positioning because without the right offer that people want and without the right uh, traffic to that offer and positioning in a way that people actually will say yes, actually will buy, then it's really hard to move the needle further. I would focus on your offer traffic and positioning. And uh, when I say the offer, your offer should be really specific. Uh, when I say the traffic, you should really like after you identify your offer, you created your traffic and you have your positioning, then you can think about and actually as you are building your OTP triangle, you should start thinking about what is my market fit? Who is my who? Like who will buy those services? And again, when it comes to niching down, you can niche down on a person and really, really specific on the person, but you can also niche down on the problem. If you have a problem, a profitable problem to solve for different people, different people, as long as they match the level of income to afford your services there they will they will buy your offer however i always advise i always advise the more specific you are about your customer the more details you know the better your positioning is because also when it comes to positioning how do you position effectively? You position yourself effectively when you use the words that your ideal customers are using and if you have multiple layers of customers, multiple tiers of customers, then it, it, it's a little bit more complex for your business. And it's actually a little bit harder to get to 10K a month if you are, if you have to do like market segmentation and really identify that demarcation where one tier of my customers ends and the other stars because you have to, uh, you have to do a content separation to make a content for each tier so everybody can hear you because if you're not careful and if you have way too many tiers or way too many who's uh, that can benefit from solving a problem that you are solving, then it's uh, all in, it just increases complexity a lot. And the last thing I'm going to say this, uh, you have to have front and center offer. Make the main thing the main thing because when we are trying to be everything for everybody a life coach spiritual coach business advisor business consultant a mentor then it's really hard for us to do this uh, content demarcation like our marketing demarcation and how we separate and segregate those content and that content that will speak to each tier if we have way too many tiers so make the main thing the main thing and i understand there's a fear that if i sell 
one thing and I'm multifaceted. I'm multi-passionate. I, I can do all of the things. I'm going to lose money. This is simply not the case. Let me give you an example. My very first offer was career coaching for software engineers. This is what I was talking about. And if you look back in my channel, you will see that, hey, I still have those videos. I did not remove those videos from my channel. So you can see that I'm talking about authority. I'm talking about building your legacy. I'm talking about career. This is all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about business. I'm not talking about offers. I'm not talking about 10 steps to 10K a month as an entrepreneur. I did not, I do not talk about it. But what I did, I actually start conversations with my customers because as you notice, sometimes people hop on the your call, get a consultation with you and they say, hey, Eugene, you know, like, yeah, I'm at the crossroads in my career, but what I really want to do, I really want to start a business. What I really want to do, I want to start my own company. What I really want to do is get spiritual coaching. What I really want to do is really get that, like, mentor and advisor. And then you can start working through DMs. You, like, actually, like, this is, this is how I literally landed my uh, first business customer without advertising, without putting content about business coaching at all whatsoever. So we uh, connected on the link on LinkedIn and we started talking about just like what I'm doing. And he had a podcast. He still has a podcast. He invited me to a podcast. So we started talking. And after podcast, I shot him a message and said, hey, uh, you are doing a course and it's like, it's a low, low ticket course. Like, have you thought about really creating a business, really creating a legacy that you can do full time? Because obviously you don't like corporate America. You quit your job because you don't like corporate America. How about we work together? I will teach you how to create a business and how to really high ticket offer or how to be high ticket consultant whatever you choose. You could be a consultant, you can be a coach or a mentor, like the choice is yours. After talking back and forth, my client said, you know what, it makes sense. Again, my second client, I was, I was doing audio room about career development. I did not say anything about business, nothing. And he showed up, he spoke on the stage because on LinkedIn, so you can invite people on the stage. People can talk on the stage. This is what I mean. Like if you're not on LinkedIn, this is this is what I live, play, and make money on LinkedIn majority of the time. So that this is why. So like he spoke on the audio event and he said, you know what, I'm a mentor as well. I sent him in DM and say, you know what. Um, uh, how much are you charging for your mentorship? Like, okay, like 20 bucks per consultation. Like, okay, it's definitely more than that. Would you like to build a sustainable business, a legacy for yourself? Do what you're doing, do what you enjoy doing, do being a software mentor. And my client said, you know what, Eugene, like, yes, we had a, we had a couple of calls and my client enrolled on the call. Again, I did not put anything out there. And, you know, when I, when it's interesting, when, uh, when I was doing a survey, cause market, market research is essential. So you, um, create your market research when you're interviewing your clients on your consultative uh, calls. And also you interview clients right after you enroll them and you ask them before you provided any value, before they got initial results, be like your very first call, your or maybe it is your onboarding call, you ask them, why did you invest? So you, you, you get more accurate data. And I asked my client, why, why did you invest? And my client said, I wanted to be like you. I wanted to build a business like you do. So if you're multifaceted, focus on one thing, on the main thing. You can sell anything on, on the back end, anything. I'm not saying that you always should sell one thing, but uh, be something that you're known for. It's going to be easier for you when it comes to marketing. It's going to be easier for you when it comes to your messaging. It's going to be easier for you to make in your first 10K. 
And then, when you are at first 10K, start thinking about scaling and leveling up gradually because 10K is good, but 10K should be your salary, not just the revenue from your business. Because like I said, what you want to do, you want to pay yourself a salary. You want to be an employee in your business. Like this is a legacy so you can go to the next level. But one step at a time, get to 10K a month, get to 20K a month, set up a payroll for yourself, for your business, and keep growing, keep building. And as I said, I have 10 steps to 10K a month and more. Actually, those 10 steps will work if, even if you're building 20K a month. That, that really momentum when you create a serious business that will support you, that will support your family, and that will bring the income that you desire. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what resonated with you, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.